this year we are coming back together as partners, both women in sales and demand base. And the reason why is because we are here to highlight our second annual 100 most powerful women in sales. Uh, it's something that both we feel very passionate about here at demand base and obviously the women in sales team feels passionate about. Do you want to explain a little bit about your perspective on this and, and kind of where you come from uh, with putting together this list? Absolutely. So this list is absolutely a passion project. It has been for the last two years. There are countless hours spent behind the scenes, taking recommendations, looking through LinkedIn profiles, understanding the backgrounds of the different folks who have been nominated and brought up to us. But the idea behind this list is that there are a lot of lists out there that talk about the top or the number one. And for this, we wanted to really highlight folks at every stage of their career. So we didn't wanna just look at senior sales executives. What we wanted to look at is where are folks at every stage in their career from SDR to AE, all the way up to the C-suite who are making an impact in the field of sales, who are working hard to level the playing field for women in our industry. And so we're really proud of this list we put together. We spent, again, countless hours behind the scenes, um, but this list is, may I say, very powerful. Absolutely, and I think as, as those nominations came in, we started to build the list. You know, we look at really four criteria uh, before we publish these lists and as we finalize them. And one is contextual. So are these women publishing content that has something to do with sales? You know, they may be an AE and are they you know publishing content that is impactful to their to their community or to the C-suite or what have you? Number two is engagement. So is the sales community actually engaged with their content? Other engagement is great, but obviously if they're publishing sales related content, you want to see actual engagement. And that's not just passive engagement of likes and shares, that's actually active engagement as well with people commenting and them commenting back. We look at for uh, resonance as the third criteria. So is this actually resonating with their community? Are you seeing them referenced in other posts or people really sharing their perspective on the content that they're creating? And fourth is DEI. So the diversity of the list is something that's very critical and important to demand base uh, when we work on this list as well as other projects that we put together. So all in all, we are really excited to launch this year's 2023 100 Powerful Women in Sales list. Congratulations to everyone that was nominated and everyone that was recognized in this year's list. And we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.